I did a tap and a half of acid last the summer before this one, and I re and I watched some Louis C.K. bits, and I was like, whoa, I totally understand what he's doing, and then I could do that. Why? So then I tried it. Uh, my first sets were terrible, and then they got better. When I first did it, it was like kind of surreal. I went up, it was at um, Market Street in Gainesville. And that's like, it had like a nice stage and everything. I expect it to be kind of shitty like here, but it was like a full stage and they had lights and shit. So when you went up, like you just saw a silhouette of people. It was like, like you couldn't see their faces. It was fucking awesome. Uh, not that I did real well, but it was fucking cool. Stan Hope's one where he talks about killing his mom was pretty good. Um, you see that one? Beer Hall Push? That's really awesome. Uh, but, I don't know. I like watching, I've watched so many comedy specials, most of them are fucking boring, so I like the ones where they're not. So I, I like them to be kind of different. There's one on Netflix, Snover, I forget his first name, it was fucking awesome though. I just watched that one the other day. Louis' show is a big deal for me. I've watched every episode more than once. Um, it's because it's you have absolutely no idea what's going to happen in the beginning of it. It's, it's a good show. But, uh, most sketch shows are complete dog shit, like dog shit from wall to wall. Amy Schumer's show was like Mad TV if Mad TV was an abortion, um, with Amy Schumer in it. Um, but yeah. Dave Chappelle's like they, they he made the best sketch show and then they should have stopped the whole sketch show. Like SNL should should have been canceled seven million years ago. Uh, yeah, sketch shows. Well, if you get one right, you're Dave Chappelle, and that's, that's probably it. Or, Key and Peele's was good too, but it's kind of Dave Chappelle's bitter about it, more bitter than he should be, but it was kind of his from a little bit. The last time I enjoyed a comedy film, I was High on Mushrooms. I was watching Joe Dirt 2, and I thought it was so good, I thought it was Joe Dirt 1. I'll put it that way. I don't, I don't even watch a lot of comedy films, because most, most of them, I feel like they don't try very hard. I feel like they just talk, say shit back and forth to each other, and they forget that they're in a movie, and they can do more than just do their fucking improv bullshit. Improv, improv people are the worst. I don't deserve to go on tour with anybody good at this point. Uh, whoever. I don't care, I'm not picky. All the people I insulted, those people. That'd be great. And that, there's a lot of like people who are like specifically good at roasting, and then good comedians, but better at roasting. Like, like Tony Hinchcliffe is an amazing roaster. Great comedian too, don't get me wrong. But like for roasting, he's better than like Doug Stanhope would be, even though Stanhope's a better comedian. So it's it's weird to pick out the ones you want to roast you. Hopefully, they'll make money. Um, try some improv at some point because I know improv people. Um, it'll probably make me better, especially with the physical stuff, because I don't know how the fuck to do that yet. Um, but really, most of the people who do improv are the most annoying, son egotistical sons of bitches I've ever met in my entire life. But you get so used to that doing comedy, it's not, it's not a big deal. I'll, I'll, I'll learn what's valuable about them, and then I'll cast them aside. Like, I don't even, uh, if you go into my Facebook page, you can add me as a friend, but I do not have a picture up. So good luck. There's, there's more than one Dustin Davenport, I'm the only one with no picture. That's the only way you'll ever find me. I, when I first started comedy, I was that guy who made the Facebook page with his face on it and stuff, and I'm like, nothing I do matters to anybody else yet, and then I deleted it. And th so I'll wait till I actually know what the fuck I'm doing with this, and I have, you know, uh, act, and then I'll worry about the whole, oh, yeah, it's me. Out of it. 
Uh, I'd like them to feel a little bit dead inside. That's it, that's all I'm going for. Check out his interviews on cutiepie.com.